It's always a mad rush. Kerry never gives us any time to do anything. We're not them in a rush. The Swans kick off at three o'clock. You've got no chance. I don't want to be on camera. I, know, I don't yeah. do cameras. Have a set of um, five more injectors, they said. Yeah, cracking idea that was. It'll be fun. Yeah. I'm not even doing that. I'm not even doing that. What did he say? Pop, pop, bang, bang. Here we go. Audi A4 2 litre TDI. Now it's in with us for a remap today. Right, so finally after having a few issues running this vehicle across from there to there. Right, welcome back to the channel. My name is Darren Evans. Uh, yeah, I'm here. This is Ben Jones. Hello. Hiya, Ben. Hiya. Hiya. Are you glad to see Hurricane back? Yeah, always, yeah. Yeah. So, right, this, well, we had a minute issue with basically a little tiny fuel leak mainly um as a result james getting involved but yeah um it's back here just for some new gauges gauge faces yeah it's had some uh, updated gauge faces that now so, still don't read the right brake horsepower figure do they no no not no. at all much, so, much like the stickers on the side every yeah so like them stickers on the side, <laughs> they still don't read the right numbers. Well, ah, close enough. Yeah, it? close enough. I mean, round up to the next, you know, nearest hundred, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, always. Yeah. Or a thousand in this case. Yeah. So nobody's seen this on the channel before, have they? We've not I'm had not, an no, opportunity no. to. In fairness, yeah. neither of us have had an opportunity to do anything with this car. It's just like either disappeared too quickly or whatever. Um, so. Yeah, I just it's always it. it's always a mad rush. Kerry never gives us any time to do anything, and always wants. No, it there's plenty of time. We just don't have enough time because he books it in really late when we're really busy, and we take yeah. ages to do it because it wasn't booked in. So talking about not having enough time, this brings me on to Y Foods, the sponsor of today today's video. So if you're on the go like me, you don't have enough time. Kerry doesn't give you enough time. Then this is the ideal scenario for you now this is a meal replacement shake you've got the ready-made versions and you've got the pouches here along with the shakers that you can do yourself so this is an easy one there's 26 different minerals and vitamins included in every single serving of this there's 33 grams of protein it isn't a supplement or anything like that it's just a meal replacement so you can grab one of these on the go you don't have to worry about preparing your meals or anything like that for a healthy balanced diet so to save 10% off your next purchase with Y food simply include in the discount section BD performance 10 and that ladies and gentlemen will give you 10% off these amazing drinks now my favorites are probably the chocolate the happy banana and the smooth vanilla, that's for sure. So let us know in the comments down below which one's your favourite. Thanks guys and back to the video. Well yeah, so Kerry doesn't give us enough time to do anything and no. always wants it back yesterday, so... No, the day before. Oh yeah, the day before, so yeah. Yeah, so um, we've done whatever modifications to the fuel rail, just tightened it back up. We had an issue with the charging as well, didn't we? Um, yeah, we've, we've, done put another, we've put another alternator on it and... We've also done another aircon pump again on it. Yeah. Which we had an issue with a brand new unit that we fitted only two years ago, so that's been replaced again. Um, and the gauge face is that's about it this time, I think. Yeah. So we're going to try and, I mean, it's bloody beautiful outside. Uh, you probably can't see from there, but it's bloody. I mean, we couldn't have picked a better day for it, could we, if we have tried? Bit, bit of rain. It's beautiful. Never rammed anyone. So with like a thousand horsepower and uh, and bend down the wheel, this should be fine. You've driven this before, haven't you? I've, I've I haven't a, been out. I've there. had a very brief drive in it. Not nothing, yeah, nothing major. I've only just been 
couple of junctions down with the in fairness if we can't get any v power this is going to be a bloody brief, brief drive as well anyway yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um i actually went out in this last night and i i, I actually texted you didn't i mm. had a minute problem didn't i bit, bit, a bit of a bit of a uh, smoky in the bandit yeah <laughs> so basically a fire scare yeah so basically what happened is that last night i had to watch up ben a video and I'll WhatsApp the same video to Bennett because it's quite funny because I basically needed a change of pants because at a set of traffic lights, I could see what was, well, a smoke coming out of the bonnet vents. Now, on reflection, I had a choice to make, which I said to you, wasn't it, Ben, which was to run the red lights and save the car or um, wait there and wonder whether it burnt down now. I didn't make my choice quick enough because the lights changed to green <laughs> and I managed to get back. But anyway, the thought was there, Kerry, and um, yeah. So anyway, I spoke to Ben about this and eventually got back here and that's why the car is where it is now um, with the bonnet open because I was trying to figure out where the smoke was coming from. Little did I know that Kerry actually knew about this and um, yeah, that's why it is bloody smoking because that was fitted this turbo blanket, this one, mega good quality, not Chinese at all, um, was fitted there and has lasted a very short period of time, hasn't it? Yeah, we'll probably just, have to bleep the manufacturer out because they'll probably have something to say about it. But They just seem to like hold moisture from nowhere and permanently kind of steam. But this one wasn't holding moisture, Ben. It was actually burning. It oh. was this stuff that was burning. Um, so I had to stay here for several hours last night while I w figured out whether this bloody thing was going to go on fire. It didn't, obviously, because we're here to tell the tale today. But yeah, um, yeah, that wasn't much fun. And for a first drive, that certainly wasn't my um, my intention. But yeah, um, we're going to put this car. Well, shut the bonnet for a start. I Look know. at this blaster here, <laughs> because this is as a result of these crazy things having to be fitted. So now it's dead tight on the front here, and this is why Kerry's got this blaster here apparently, so he tells me. Also, that, see that? that? That is actually, if you look, it's that uh, shiny plate catching on it, look. You're joking? Uh, no. So yeah, <laughs> so that plate catches there as well. <coughs> Have a set of um, five more injectors, they said. Yeah, cracking idea that was. It'll be fun. Yeah, amazing. Absolutely. We've had to, we've had to machine the, the the mounting brackets down and add them and do all sorts of other adjustments just to still get the bonnet to not close properly. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, <coughs> that's another thing that we need to, to address in the future, isn't it, Ben? Somehow work out to get this to ship properly. Maybe we cut some bits out somewhere about here and here and here and here. Kerry will really love that, won't he? Because he loves us cutting bits out of his car. Well, there's a couple of choices on the bonnet that we did mention to Kerry briefly. He wasn't that keen. It was either, I think, Evo 6 bonnet event. That, <laughs> <laughs> that would have done the that job. That would have looked well smart, Yeah, though. oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know what, I don't what, know what, the, what the issue is. Yeah, it would have been dead yeah. in 1999. Yeah, it's fine. Anyway, let's get out in this. Let's stop rambling on. It's like, it's me normally that talks crap for 20 minutes. I have hardly said anything. Are you sure? Yeah. Come on, let's go. Right, so we forgot to go through the rough and very basic spec of this car because what's the point in doing a review on a car when you don't have any information on it on the channel? So let's do that first. So Ben, I'll let you try and remember what exactly we've done to this car in the latest version. I'm pretty sure the latest version is uh, a linered block. Yep. Mar Tick. Marler piston is, Mar is it Marler piston? Correct. Yeah. K1 rods, um, ported polished head. Big is it? Big valves? I can't remember if it's big valves. It is. It yeah. is big valve. Double valve springs Double on this valves. one. Yeah. Ported polished head with some Newman cams. I definitely can't remember which ones they are. Are they still? Uh, yeah, they're stage they? two. Stage two. Stage two Newmans. Um, that's it, engine wise. Um, one of our own Sidewinder. Uh, manifold kits with a uh, precision big turbo, I can't remember the model number whatsoever. Um, Kerry bought that himself anyway. Yeah, he bought that himself, so I don't know, it's, it's a really big precision 66, turbo anyway. 66, 66? 
60, I, I don't know. I think so, yeah. We'll put the, we'll put the information below anyway. Um, Turbo Smart uh, Wastegate, yeah, it's 15, big Turbo Smart Wastegate. Um, this is becoming really accurate. I know, yeah, it's got a Turbo Smart Wastegate. Yeah, 50 mil, I think it is a big bubba 50, 50 um, yeah. it's not a 60 mil anyway that's for sure no. so we, we did this ages ago so don't shoot us there's plenty of heat protection nimbus material as you can see all around here we tend to use the nimbus just purely because well quite frankly it it, it just works doesn't it Ben yeah um 70 mil throttle body a nimbo 10 injector plenum um, it's a breather kit, mainly pro alloy bits. I think it's so it's got the pro alloy adapter plate for the housing and their catch can. And we've made the hoses up in house. Um, it's got a external fuel system, which consists of one of our own swirl pots and modified rails, a upgraded in tank pump, but also a large brushless external pump. Uh, Turbo smart. That's instead of the. Instead two of the, 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 the that twin, we traditionally yeah, used. the twin 044s, we've we've gone up to a, a, a single brushless pump, which uh, gives around about the same sort of flow as three 044s. We've kind of established um, table smart regulator on that, and then some just in the engine bay, load of shiny bits. Got table smart um, a dual port, a sort of re, uh, well, it is a dual port. Um, blow off valve but we haven't we, <laughs> big we, bubba we, big bubba that's what that's called is it I a think. big bubba yeah, yeah. i think it's called so a we, big bubba but, but it's not plumbed in to recirculate and we have got it atmospheric um just because of the fact that we've got no sort of crossover because of the turbo setup um nice spec r header tank and just a load of other sort of shiny bits really in the engine bay and the seam line i think it is or what is it? No, Same is it? Kuro, I think. Kuro carbon. Kuro carbon, m most of it. Uh, and obviously the Cyvex ECU. Yeah, so that's mapped by Simon at SciTech. Uh, then we've got obviously the splitters and everything from Maxton. Um, we've got the BC Racing coilovers. We've got the AP big APs, brake kit yeah. on the front that we did a deal with carryover. It, that was off our demo car originally. Um, and then on the inside, we have got that was Seamline Automotive, was it? It's got a, it's yeah. got a, yeah, it's been trimmed. So the seats and everything are still factory, but he's trimmed the rest of the interior to, to basically match the factory seats. So he's done Alcantara and blue stitching on absolutely everything, plus a load of other um, carbon bits from, from Kuro on the, on the centre console and stuff like that. Uh, and also a, a pillar gauge and a load of extra gauges. We've got uh, two can inside as well. And two can. Have we yeah. bored everyone in F now? Probably. Let's yeah. go out in it. Okay. Big balls. Are we on big balls? We're on big balls. Big balls. Big balls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Simon's uh, Simon's sense of humour. So high boost is big balls. <laughs> Do it then. Low boost and big bars. <laughs> big bars. <laughs> yeah, <Your> deck. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, it's really wet out here. What? Yeah, we. Yeah, we dobber. Oh, we forgot to mention the oh, awful diff. That, that diff. <laughs> we forgot to mention the awful diff. Oh. So it's got a 3JJ diff in it, and it's got one of the TCV clutches as well, neither of which are really. It's like. Oh. <laughs> it makes you dislike the car, doesn't it? Sorry, 3JJ, but wow, that feels horrible. It's perfect, this, because this is basically a show car and it's got a track diff in it. like the perfect combination isn't it really? Yeah the diff sound, it just sounds like something's going to fall apart, it's, it's, yeah, it's horrible. I suppose though when you go in hard at it, it does yeah. the job. It's a bit 
kind of disconcerting, really. You know, when you've got that much power. by. When you've got this much power, though, you like to know you're pressing the clutch, don't you? Yeah. Because when you know you're pressing the clutch, you know it's going to hold. Scotland and Strongman. 
They're all Scottish, them blokes, aren't they? Are they? Yeah, the big ones, yeah. Go on, man. Give it big balls. That was just... Just cutting, yeah. you can see the traction control lights flashing, all sorts. Yeah. It's, uh, I don't even think, to be honest with you, I actually don't think it is wheel spinning. No. It's literally just it's cutting and power. feels yeah. like it's spinning. Hello. Hey, what's the special occasion? What? Not very often you come and pick your own car up, is ah. it? You're driving it? No. Why not? No. Look at this. This is this is uh, Kerry's special truck he's built specially for his little slow car. Let's get him throwing it inside there later on. You got your straps with you today. Are you putting the straps on today, Kerry? <laughs> Kerry, look out! Look, is isn't it right? So Nick calls you Sari. Right, your name's really Kerry, obviously. So this is going to be like the first time you've ever been on camera for your own car. How does it feel? I don't want to be on camera. I know. I don't yeah. do cameras. I know, but you know, you're here now, so. We're going to stay here and we're going to film for a bit. We're not them in a rush. The swans kick off at three o'clock. You've got no chance. Well, we'll make you late for that. Oh, thanks for that. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Hiya. Hiya. You You're happy? Right. Well, I don't know. I don't know if my car's finished yet. You're only driven about, it under the trailer, yeah. so I don't know. You're happy about your turbo blanket? What, the one you ruined? Oh, I where is it? I didn't ruin where it? it. It's over here. Come on. Let's go and have a look. I only left it with him for a week. Turbo blanket. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on a minute. We've already been through this in the video. It's over here. Oh look, there's... Hiya! <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. <clears throat> the joys of big turbo! Yeah, so... Well, the joys of Chinese shit turbo blankets, but... Yeah, so we couldn't find any one in the between. To be fair, so... it lasted two years. Yeah. So, for the price of it, I'll just buy another Chinese shit one and make yeah. it last another two years. Was it a Chinese shit one? Yeah, what I think so. It? I think it only cost about 30 quid. Oh, well, there you are. Then. I thought it was a... <laughs> One, so I'd better bleep that out the video then. It's the, it's the same one, isn't it? <laughs> put, put a badge We've in, been right? trying to, trying to not go into that. Oh, you better take so that out yeah, of the video then. I know, yeah. How long have you owned the car now, Kerry? We haven't been to this. 2014 I bought it. Yeah. So, I probably met you in 2015, maybe? Yeah, because it was Adrian at Aris Direct yeah. that recommended us. So. Yeah. Well, I wanted to go forged, didn't I? And he said, oh, no, we don't do forged. Go and see yeah. Daz. Yeah. So. But then you said, you actually just had a 425 package to start off with. Yeah. Yeah. And you said, I fitted all the bits to that. I just took it to Adrian for the map. Yeah. And then you, all we, the first thing we did was water math. Yes. On the way then, to Ford Fair. Yeah. Which we then. In 2015. Yeah. So then you that said. That lasted about six months before you decided. I don't think it was six months. I, I don't think, think it was six months like that. I think that's just what you told your wife. Yeah, probably. Yeah. So then you said, if I remember rightly, you said, that's it, I'm not doing any more. I, said I that think you said that after, e after every yeah. every single... Apart from this one, I didn't say no more after we went 9-11. No, you said, well, you know, this isn't going to end now. No, I, I, I said, said we're going to put a stage three cam on the exhaust side and we'll whack a load of E85 in it. Yeah. But and we haven't had time yet, so... No. But, no, I mean, prior to this, the time before that, you said it wasn't over. It's the only two times you've ever said it isn't over. Well, Nick's fault was the last time. I was going to stick at 800. Yeah. And then Norbed went and got a big turbo, didn't he? <laughs> so, yeah. How much do you actually drive this car, Kerry? Because that's what people want to know. I would have driven it today, but as I told Ben, they have run out of fuel everywhere. So yeah, I, I know, yeah. I've just literally been past about three petrol stations. Yeah. and there's so it won't worth the risk. I don't want to be stuck in Silverstone. So no, exactly. So what's learn. on this weekend? Tracks. All oh, right, okay. I'm so. on stand with um, Fast Forward Magazine, so... Right. So, yeah. It's supposed to be sunny. We'll mm. see. I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. I don't no. trust the weather, so. But yeah, what what? Um, give us the give us your highlights. Three things about this whole journey. What? As in Anything the whole car from the start, journey. from the very start. Um. Well, meeting you a lot, obviously, because we become more friends Blech. and family now. <laughs> you know, you came to my wedding, I came to yours. Um. 
You know, just the, the respect you get with the car people, you know. You're quite well involved with, like, loads of people with Rich and yeah, well, always with Yeah, it's not even that. You know when you're in a show and you just get people coming up to you and they know who you are and just... Just buy a car. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, I think I'm going to clear what my name is and I don't know what their name is. Sorry. Are. Oh, That's yeah, what your name is. Neck, Sarry. <laughs> Every, you know, everyone calls you Sarry. I remember Ford Fair last year and a kid come up and asked his dad, could he have a photo of my car? And that was my favourite moment ever of yeah. owning the car. Yeah. You know, just because it's your car, isn't it? You know, yeah, you don't, yeah, yeah. You don't do it for those kind of things, but, well, you do do it for those kind of things, but. No. Would you do it again? No. <laughs> final. I, it's done now. I'm not going to sell the car anyway. No, so. I know, I know. But final question. Yeah. What car next? Well, I wouldn't sell the RS, so it'd have to be as well as, and then just have that as a show car. What you get, you know? Mm. I don't. I, it wouldn't be a GTR. I'd say it would be a GTR, but they're too bloody expensive to run. Yeah. You know, and discs and pads, and you're talking. This is the man who's got a, uh, you know. Well, I know lots what's next. Of money. Finishing the track car. Yeah. The all-wheel drive track car. That's anyway, what's we'll next. We'll bleep that bit out. No, you won't. Yeah. No, so, you won't. He's, he's had it four years. Yeah. No, I, I haven't you actually have. had it four years. I think I bought the Volvo four years ago. No, yeah, we didn't have a car then. You bought the car. Oh, the car came before, a year later. Sorry, three yeah, years. Three years. It's been in in in. Inception. And later he'll take you all over to see the state of it because it's sat in the corner ever since. Yeah, it's a proper bin. But anyway, oh, that was, that was combined. Line. That was a combined. Uh, yeah, you're in it now, Jensen. So yeah. we're, we're, you're, you're in it. YouTube, Hopefully like, your mum doesn't mind that. But you know, so this is Jensen. This is the real boss, aren't you, Jensen? You're the decision maker, aren't you? Realistically. So I think Jensen likes the he's, car. He's already told me he's having my car when he's older, and I've got to buy another one apparently. So do you? Um, who likes the car like the most? You or your dad? Who likes the car the most? You or your dad? Dad. Yeah? Does... Jensen. Does, right? Does your dad like the car more than your mum? Yes! No comment. And that is the end of the video. If you like this sort of content, then please consider subscribing. Hit that bell icon to stay notified. Hit the uh, thumbs up if you enjoy this video and comment down below um, how much trouble Jensen and Kerry are in because they're in a lot. Anyway, see you later. The plan is to get it somewhere near 600 to 650 horsepower. It's going to be from pure turbos.